how do you turn this into this? How do you convert fractions to percentage? Pag-usapan natin yan today. Hi there! Welcome to Team Laika where we try to help you prepare for your next exam. And today, we're going to talk about one of the common problems na lumalabas sa exams. And hindi man exactly yun yung form ng tanong na convert this into this. Marami mga problems ang gumagamit nito. Now, if you're watching this, preparing for an exam, you can get your own copy of the workbook and the practice test booklets that I wrote for uh, test takers and you can get your copies m.me slash team like na link na rin sa baba and um, dito sa mga box na to may mga explainer videos din tayo where I show some of my tricks and speed math techniques para makasave kayo ng time sa test okay but again hindi naman kailangan you can make do with all the free stuff lang na meron tayo and uh, you can start with the free study guide then that you can download from our website okay when you want to turn your fraction into a percentage there are two ways to do it yung first one is yung nakasanayan natin gawin. At yung pangalawa, ituturo ko sa inyo, baka makasave ng time sa exam. Hindi siya magagamit sa lahat, pero magagamit siya sa ilan. It pays to know it. Okay, so sabi dito, what is 23 over 25 in percentage form? Now, when it comes to the first method, um, ang gagawin natin is convert natin siya into decimal, tapos pag decimal siya, madaling na siya gawing percentage. So, let's start with the first part, 23 over 25. Now, ang old way of doing this would be to just divide 23 by 25, you can use long division. So, lalagay natin 23 sa ilalim ng payong 25 sa labas. Kung nakalimutan nyo na kung paano mag-long division, may video din tayo on how to do that. Lilink ko na lang din dito, ha? Just remember, hindi pwedeng 25 over 23. Kung ano yung nasa taas na number or yun yung numerator, yun yung nasa loob ng payong. 23 over 25 is 23 divided by 25. Okay? Now, now that we have that, we could just uh, put 0 here which enables us to do this. So, 230 na siya. 230 divided by 25, that is going to give us 9. Okay? Tapos, ang 9 times 25, uh, apat na 25, 100. So, kung walo, 200 agad yun. Plus 1 more, 25. So, 225. Babawas natin siya dyan. Magkakano tayo remainder na 5. Tapos, uh, glalagay tayo ng isa pang 0 dito. Kasi decimal na siya, pwede natin gawin yung 0 over and over again. Tapos, 50 divided by 25 is 2. 50 na siya. Wala na tayong gagawin dyan. The answer here is 0.92. Now, yung 0.92 na yan, pwede natin siya convert into percentage. But let me just show you one more trick that I do, which is when it comes to dividing numbers by 25. Uh, there's a trick there, which is instead of dividing it by 25, I will just multiply it by 4. Let me show you. Ha. Pag hindi nyo nakuha, okay lang din. Pero let me show you just in case kung nagmamadali talaga kayo. 23 times 4 na lang. 23 times 4 is apat na 20, 80, plus 3 times 4, which is 12. That is 92. Familiar ba? ba? Tapos, imove ko lang yung decimal point twice to the left. So, 0 0.92. As you can see, pareho lang sila. 0 0.92 tsaka 0 0.92. 92. The idea there is that apat na point twenty five ang meron sa isang number, sa 1. So, uh, i-multiply ko lang siya sa 4 to know kung ilang point twenty five ang kasha doon. So, yung point ninety two ay gagawin ko lang siyang percentage. The way that I do it, the way that we do it is just move the decimal place twice, tapos we add the percent sign. So, that is 92 percent. Okay? So again, convert it to decimal, then convert the decimal to percentage. Now, is there another way? This is something that I use lalo na pagdating sa exams na may time limit. The first question I ask myself is, may pwede ba akong gawin sa 25 para maging 100 siya? Kasi if kaya kong i-transform yung fraction na 23 over 25 sa over 100, madali ko na malalaman kung anong percent siya kasi ang over 100 just means percent. Percent per 100. So, titignan natin yung 25, which is the denominator, yun ang nagdidikta kung pwede mong i-convert siya into over 100 or i-transform yung fraction. Again, may video tayo on transforming fractions. Ililink ko na lang din sa taas, ha? Pero, 25 kasi times 4 is 100. So, para makuha ko yung nasa taas, imumultiply ko lang din siya sa 4, and that would give me 90 
2 over 100, which dahil nga alam natin ang over 100 ay percent, that is just 92 percent. Kasi kahit ano ng fraction na may over 100, kung ano man yung number na nasa taas, yun na yung percentage niya. 92 over 100, 92 percent. 8 over 100, 8 percent. Okay? So, etong trick na to, this is what I use for exams para na, hindi na ako kailangan mag-long division. Hindi na ako kailangan mag-divide as decimal yung sagot, which sa akin is one of the trickier parts ng math. Now that you know what to do, it's time for your quick quiz. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. We have three questions. Let's start with question number one. Again, just to show you uh, yung method natin kanina, which is kung over 100 siya. Ang kailangan kong gawin sa 20 para maging 100, madali lang din. Times 5 lang yan. So, ito times 5 ko lang din yung nasa taas na number. 9 times 5 is 45. At dahil 45 over 100 siya, this is 45%. Now, this is not the only number na madali. Pwede madali ang 25 times 4 lang siya, ang 20 times 5, ang 10 times 10, ang 5 times 20, you get yung pattern, right? Dito naman tayo dun sa long method, yung gagawin ko siyang decimal. So we have 9 divided by 20, 0 point, meron na siyang 0. Apat at 20 ang kasya sa 90, so I'll just put 80 here. 4 times 20 kasi is 80, so we have 10 na, na tira, magbababa tayo ng isa pang 0. Ang 100 divided by 20 is 5. So, 5 times 20 is 100. Wala na tayong remainder dito. So, this is 0.45 na kung gagawin nating percent. 1, 2, 45%. So, as you can see, pareho naman yung sagot. So, kung anumang method yung ginamitin nyo, you should come up with the same answer. Question number 2, 12 over 25. So, again, 25 times 4 lang naman. Magiging 100 na siya. So, yun yung gagawin ko. Times 4, times 4. Ginawa ko sa baba, gagawin ko rin sa taas. This is going to give me 48. So, 48 over 100 or 48%. So, it's really fast if you know what to do, right? <coughs> Kung ilolong cut natin, 12 divided by 25. This is just to check. 0. Magbata yung isa pang 0 dyan kasi naging decimal na siya. Ang kasha sa 120 na 25 ay apat. 4 times 25 is 100. Bawas natin siya dyan. 20. Bababa tayo isa pang 0, 200 divided by 25 is 8. So the answer is 0.48 kasi yung 8 times 25 is just 200. Tapos na rin tayo dyan, wala tayong gagawin. So 48, 1 Again, pareho lang siya, 48%. Dito sa third one, uh, it can be tricky kasi hindi na madaling gawing 100 yung 8. I have another speed technique here. I didn't discuss it after, but let's just solve it using the traditional method. Okay? So here you have 3 divided by 8. 0. Pwede na tayo maglagay ng 0 dito. Kasi yung decimal na siya. 8, 16, 24. 3 ang kasha. 24. Bawas natin siya dyan. We have 6. Magbababa tayo ng isa pang 0. Kakasha na dito ang 7. Kasi uh, 7 times 8 is 50. 6. May remainder tayo ulit na 4. Bababa tayo rin sa pang 0. 40 divided by 8 is 5. At yun na yun. Yun na matatapos yan. 
0.375 na kung gagawin natin percentage, move natin twice in decimal place, ang lalabas ay 37.5%. Now, I did promise na I'll show you another speed technique that I use. And if hindi nyo ito makukuha, okay lang. Um, this is just my way of doing things kasi ayoko talaga nag-divide or nag-long division. Time-consuming kasi siya at pag careless ka kagaya ko, baka magkamali pa kayo. So what I do is I analyze the fraction. Yung 3 over 8 kasi, mahirap naman talaga siya gawing percentage or decimal. Pero alam ko na ang 3 over 8 ay pwede kong hatiin into, we have 2 over 8 at 1 over 8. Yung 2 over 8, pareho lang yan sa 1 fourth, which is in percentage form, 25%. Now, ano yung 1 over 8? Dahil ang 1 over 8 ay 2 over 8 divided by 2, or ang dalawang 1, point 8, uh, dalawang 1 over 8, <coughs> kasi ang dalawang 1 over 8 ay equal sa 2 over 8, Idi divide ko lang yung 25 by 2. Yung 25% by 2 ay 12.5%. Kaya, ang 1 over 8 ay 12.5%. Kung pagsasamahin ko yung 25 at 12.5, kung mapapansin nyo, ang sagot din ay 37.5%. Pareho lang dun sa kanina. Okay? So, kung nagets gets yun, that's great. You can do it with a bunch of other numbers um, na ganito yung sistema. Uh, you can split it, you can notice kung ano yung mas malapit sa kanyang fraction, all of these things. Pero kung hindi naman, again, the traditional method would do. Alright, so I hope you got all of the questions correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. It's perfectly fine. Ang importante is that you've tried. And again, pwede nyo naman itong balikan para mas uh, makuha ninyo. You can pause, you can slow it down para ma-master ninyo yung mga pinag-uusapan nating technique. Alright? Just remember, numbers can be manipulated. There's a way for you to understand them better. You can take them apart. Just make sure that you're very careful when you're doing that. Uh, you can also come up with your own techniques. Just make sure na it works and uh, makakatulong yun for your next exam para mas bumilis kayo. Okay? If you want more lessons, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Make sure that all your notifications are on para ma-notify kayo kapag ready na yung susunod natin videos. We have more coming and uh, excited ako for new things for you, for this channel, for this team. Sa lahat ng mga channel members and supporters natin, thank you so much for keeping us afloat, lalo na sa mga buwan na mahina ang ating AdSense revenue dahil wala masyadong test. Uh, all of you, you're helping us make sure that we have all our bills paid, the lights covered, and yung mga Team Laika members are uh, there for their families as well. So, salamat sa inyong lahat. Okay? As we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.